What's up, guys? Hope everyone's having a great Saturday today. It is Saturday. Yes, it's Saturday. I was when we're a, filming, yes. I was about to say, hope everybody had a great Friday or is having a great Friday. It's Saturday as we film. When they watch it, who knows? Right. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Hope everybody has a having a great Saturday. Um, so yeah, we got the uh, NBA playoffs. Uh, we found some breaking news that Isaiah Thomas has been ruled out for the rest of the playoffs. Uh, Celtic fans, I'm just gonna say sorry and better look next year. I mean, he's only really gonna miss two games because this that series wasn't lasting past four anyways. Probably. No, I mean, they just they got embarrassed. Just embarrassed in game two. And then they have to go now to Cleveland for games three and four. So, yeah. And that, without Isaiah Thomas, something like that, yeah. They're done. Just put put the Cavs in the finals right now. And then Warriors Spurs. Spurs should have had game one. Should have. And then blew a 25-point lead. And then Kawhi Leonard misses uh, game two. And he is going to miss game three. So once again, the two teams that are going, you know, facing the Giants have their best players hurt. So this, yeah, these two series, these are just pathetic, just so, horrible. So going back to the Golden State, do you did you saw the Kawhi play? Mm -hmm. You saw how much fire that Zaza got for that. He has a history of being a dirty player, like he has a track record. So do you think that blockout was? Intentional, because I guess it was they're not allowed to block out like that anymore. The two step is what Pop was saying. The reason why it got so much attention is because Kawhi got hurt. Kawhi doesn't get hurt, and no one's paying attention to that. Right. So I mean, and then what happened in Game Two is one of the Spurs players actually kind of did the same thing to Durant, but he didn't get hurt, so no one made any mention of it. Well, okay. So I mean. Yeah, I mean, so you can probably chill on this rant about, you know, Zaza doing that to Kawhi, but then when one of his players does that during the next game, no, 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 it's okay then. So, I mean, yeah, a little, uh, because Kawhi got hurt, it made, was made a bigger deal of than it would have been. I, I guess if I'm, I guess if I'm a ref, I would certainly watch for the next series, because Zaza does have a history of... You know, I don't want to say it, but, you know, being a kind of dirty player, you know, you have the Westbrook thing. A few years back with the Mavericks, you know, he twisted Kawhi Leonard's arm and looked like he was trying to pull it out of the socket. But, um, I mean, in the end of the day, I guess it's playoff basketball, but you 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 should be able to know an injury of someone that's accidentally and trying to do it. You know what yeah. I mean? I don't, I don't know. No, but... I said these playoffs are just so dull. Yeah, the Cavs have swept every series. Every series, the Warriors have pretty much swept. They have swept every series. Yeah. Um, and we were talking last night. You were saying that the Warriors are gonna have their hands full because the Cavs are. I mean, yeah, the Cavs are playing out of their minds. Like I said, I mean, really, the the Warriors should have lost Game One. Right. The War or the Spurs just gave that game away. Game Two wasn't really close, but. You look at what the Cavs have done. I mean, no They're one playing in the, defense now. No too. one in the East has even remotely come close to, you know, making it a series against them. And, and then, like I said, the cap off with yesterday's game where, well, the halftime was like seventy. Yeah, they had seventy 30. points by halftime. Yeah, I and mean, it was yeah. horribly pathetic. Seventy you know, points. It was like I said, they embarrassed the Celtics. Just absolutely embarrassed them. And now, like I said, these next two games are just going to be. You know, you know, blowouts too. I'm, you know, I'm guessing with Isaiah Thomas being out. That's so, it's a lot to overcome. Yeah, and so I guess then it depends on you know, can the Spurs make make that any semblance of a series by winning a game or two? Otherwise, yeah, we're gonna cruise through this round and we'll get, get the, the awaited finals. matchup that everybody was waiting for. Everyone predicted by the start of the season. Yeah, which I really hope that. You know, I kind of hope that the series is a sweep because, God, it takes forever to get this series. You know, if they mm. go seven games, 
They're going to have two weeks yep. to get that series wrapped up. Yep. Because that's what you know what bugs me about the NBA playoffs is like the Spurs and Warriors played Sunday, and off game Monday, played Tuesday, had Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday off. Mm-hmm. Why? Yeah. Why? Why that many days off? And then they're gonna play tonight, and they're gonna have another off day. Yeah. They're gonna play again, then a couple more off days. Like, why are there so many off days planned in there? I mean, good lord. I mean, three days off in the playoff series. Why? Yeah. What? Makes no sense. Just have them off one day to travel, and then play the next game. Yeah, and when you're not traveling, you know you can do games one and two, this you know back to back, and you're not neither team is traveling, so you can right. do these games back to back. Then you can have a travel day, you know, get some rest, and then you know play some more games back to back. I mean, it's the playoffs. I mean, this is where yeah. this is where your stamina is tested. You don't need that many days off. So uh, it just bugs me like that. So and then of course in the finals it's going to be the same way. Oh, it's going to be the worst because it's just going to be that one game for the NBA on TV. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, just that one NBA game, and then you have to wait a certain amount of days for them to travel and then whatever many days off. So. Yeah, and, you know, I would probably think that this, you know, Warriors-Cavs are probably going to go six or seven. I don't, like I said, you know, the Warriors are on their hands full because I know, like, you know, Vegas has the Warriors as the favorites right now. Way the Cavs are playing. Well, yeah. The, yeah, that's the thing. Like they don't, the Cavs don't look anything like they did in the regular season. You know, we kept saying, can all these pieces start to gel that they have? And yeah, and mm -hmm. something uh, Tyron Lue did differently with Kevin Love is he's not on the you know, the first game against the Celtics. He didn't put him on the first you know first team with LeBron and Kyrie. Mm -hmm. He put him in as the main centerpiece with the next rotation. And so that kind of, as LeBron you know, said, that kind of brought the Minnesota Kevin back, where mm -hmm. now he's you know, leading leading the players on there, so he's kind of the alpha dog yep. you know, out there, and it worked out quite well. So I mean, maybe that's something that Kevin, you know, Kevin needed was just that little time on the floor where he gets to run things. And, yep. And yeah, I mean, he's played very well. He's you know first you know this, during this uh, postseason. Yeah, I don't see it. You don't see it stopping. So it's. Once we get past these two joke of a series right here and get to the the one yeah, everyone's the, kind of been waiting for since one. the end of last season. Yep. So yeah, it's sadly you know it's sad that that's what we're looking you know since the beginning of the season that's what we kind of expected and looked for uh, you know but I mean, that's what it is. I mean, so. Yeah, I mean we. I I guess my big thing with the Golden State series is going to be you know we mentioned. You know they have they have Kevin Durant, but the way the Cavs are playing, I don't know if that's the answer. Because I mean, you add the, not only do the Cavs have the perimeter offense to battle with the Warriors, but they have the superior inside presence with Love, Tristan Thompson, LeBron James, and then they have Derek Williams. They bring off the bench too, and that's all their post players. Yeah, I mean the Warriors have made no. You know, secret about is they have no inside play. They are they are strictly you know strictly we're offense. gonna you know shoot for you know threes. I mean we're not gonna try to drive too much. You know we're gonna work the perimeter, try to find our open you know three shot and take it. And that's basically how they live or die. You know, like I said, occasionally like Durant or Green will you know go in you know go inside, but it's not very often. And then say looking at LeBron's was it seventh finals appearance in a row? So, and then the other day, LeBron, you know, James made the comment that, you know, he is the best player, which, you know, of active players, I don't think there's any argument. This is, you know, cause I, I think he's the best player ever. Well, can anyone, ever. well, first off, can anyone compare even, like, among active players, is anyone even close? No, not right now, not when you, if you do, like, the whole body of work. Yeah. I don't. I don't it's, think so, not you may, you maybe had an argument when Kobe was, you know, still out right. there, but since he's gone... No, there's like He's among the, act players, there's no one no remotely close. So then you you know get to the you know, everyone's favorite conversation is oh yeah, LeBron, Michael, oh, who's yeah. better? Oh yeah, you know so what is? Because I mean, really, Michael you know is the the alpha. I mean that's everyone goes to when they think greatest basketball player. Ever, immediately Michael Jordan's name right, right comes up. LeBron James is you know. Is hovering there. It's just putting out. What does he have? What does LeBron James have to do 
to get to Michael. So I mean, LeBron James has said he has to get to six in order to match, you know, he yep. has to match Michael at the six championships. You know, so is that all that he has to do? You know, because that's, you know, basically LeBron's going for. So is that all he has to do, or does he have other things going for him that can top what Michael has done? Um, I know when the last thing was the first, second game. It was one of those, it was either the first or second game. I think it was the first game where he had his 68th, 38 point scoring game in the postseason and Reggie said Michael Jordan only had 51 um to me I don't to me I didn't he doesn't have to do anymore because last year we had that very great discussion with the Mount Rushmore yeah. going back to that and um, that was a fun episode I like this so wrong I was so <laughs> right so wrong. still <laughs> right what are you so talking wrong. about but anyways I mean the the society that we live in now with basketball and because so many people dislike LeBron because they never... I think a lot of people didn't think there would be another player like MJ that would come through as soon as it happened. Because you say, because Kobe, but then, you know, I'm sure nobody would have thought that LeBron James would be, you know, um, would be maybe the next Michael Jordan. Well, I mean, he had a lot of hype coming out of high school. I mean, he yeah. was dubbed the king coming out of high school. Yeah. So I think the hatred for LeBron has subsided some because I think a lot of the hatreds, you know, came from when he went mm -hmm. to Miami, that whole, you know, the decision thing. Mm -hmm. That's where a lot of the hatred started. And then when he went back to Cleveland, I think now a lot of the hatred had subs has subsided. You know, no one, obviously not with Miami fans. I'm sure a lot of Miami right. fans hate him. You know, Pat Riley among them, <laughs> you know, really despises LeBron. So, I mean, I think, yeah, I think some of the hatred is kind of, eased up on him because now it's shifted towards Golden State. Yeah. Every, so, Golden, I mean, now LeBron's kind Golden of the, the fan favorite right now because, you know, they want to see him dethrone the mm -hmm. villains in Golden State with, yep. you know, Durant. So, yeah, for me, like, with LeBron, see, it's hard, you know, because he's made it to seven straight. Do I think Michael probably would have? Yes, but he retired those two years in between his two three beats. Right, yeah, that's the thing. And yeah. had he played those two seasons... I'd have got a few more. I can almost guarantee that they would have won the championship those two seasons as well. Mm -hmm. So you're looking at eight, eight championships in a row. Mm -hmm. Just unprecedented, mm -hmm. eight in a row. But then, you know, you look at some other things. The one thing, like as far as LeBron goes, yeah, he plays great defense, but... Michael's defensive game was, I think, underplayed. He played, you know, good defense, too. LeBron, you know, is a little bit flashier with his defense because, you know, he can, you know, do bigger blocks and mm -hmm. things like Michael Jordan couldn't. thing with LeBron that, uh, to me, I think I still need to see him do is come up big in the clutch with making a shot. Mm. I mean, yeah, that big block last year, you know, Golden, you know against Golden State, but you haven't seen him... In the postseason, you know, like finals make that kind of that was clinching shots. And you think Michael Jordan, I mean, he had quite a few of those. You right. know, the, the last finals against Utah, his final shot mm -hmm. was basically one winning the the finals. So you you have that imagery in your head of you know Michael just standing there with his you know shooting the ball, just holding it, watching it go in. That's it. You know, LeBron, his free throws have always been kind of bad. You know, his, his free throw percentage is pretty bad. So, for me, that's what I need to see from him is coming up a little bit, you know, more in the clutch in the, you know, in the playoffs and finals. It's just, he never seems to be there, you know. Like I said, he can have that big defensive block, but when it comes to making the shot, he just never seems to do that. Okay, so I guess my next question is, do you think part of that is maybe that... Because he has a Kyrie Irving, and it's last year in the finals, Kyrie certainly hit, like, the biggest shot of his career. Oh, yeah. yeah like, Kyrie. a lot of it, you know, he may be, this is just me thinking, but a lot of it, maybe he feels, well, I don't know, but maybe he feels like, you know, he doesn't have to make the clutch shot if Kyrie's... Well, I mean, even, the you know, when Michael, I mean, he had, there's other players around him that made big shots. Right. I mean, Steve Kerr made, you know couple of big shots so 
he, you know, would dish it out too because he, you know, Mike Jordan knew they're covering me, so let's get it out to somebody else. Let them, you know, make sure because they're going to be open because everyone's eyes are going to be right on me. But I mean, he still had those moments though where he was like, nope, I'm, I'm taking this. If like, if it's you know the finals on the line, he wasn't letting anybody else touch that ball. He was going to take it, and he was going to make it. I and mean, that's what he did. You know, six no in the finals. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it's nice when you know you have those moments where you can pass it. And I'm sure, you know, LeBron is singing that, you know, last year maybe too. It's like. You know, I don't, whoever came up to play, I don't know, but, yeah, Kyrie made, you know, the biggest shot that he's probably ever going to hit. Yeah. yeah. So, and then, even a few, you know, I think a few finals back when he was with Miami, yeah, when they're facing the Spurs, mm-hmm. yeah, Ray Allen. Allen hit that huge shot. Yep. Let's see, but those series, that's where the, you know, when he was with Miami, that's where he'd always seem to disappear in the fourth mm-hmm. quarter. And that's what kind of sticks with people is those fourth quarters with Miami just kind of faded out in each game during the fourth. And I think going back to Cleveland winning that one last year kind of helped cement. It's like, okay, you know, that feels more like a LeBron-led championship mm-hmm. as opposed to Miami where everyone just kind of said, oh, he came up with Dwayne Wade. Dwayne yeah. Wade was the one that, you know, led him. You know, LeBron was a Robin to Wade's Batman mm-hmm. in, in that instance, but in Cleveland, it's... Not LeBron's the yeah, he's the Batman. Yeah. He's the big dog. So now if he wins this, you know, if he wins another one this year, you know, so that'd be number four for him. Mm-hmm. And so that's now two in a row where he's been the main focal point mm-hmm. of his team. So to me, that gets him even more in the discussion of, you know, greatest of all time. And, you know, I think part of it is with Michael Jordan is some nostalgia. Sure. Like, you know, people my age, you know, and older, remember watching Michael Jordan. And so, me, yeah, I was I was young when I watched him. So, to me, Michael Jordan brings back some of that nostalgia of, you know, of watching that. And I was seeing, you know, the kids nowadays, they're going to see LeBron James that same way. You know, when they're, you know, now my age, they're going to think back to how Le- LeBron played. And it's going to, you know, trade that nostalgia mm-hmm. in there. And so, to them, it's going to be, he's the greatest because... You watch them growing up, so that kind of helps, and that's where I think a lot of it. You know, a lot of the argument stems from too is I grew up watching Michael. <laughs> you know, that's you know Michael even sort of even got me into even watching basketball. Mm. You know, if Michael Jordan wasn't there. I don't know if I would have cared as much. Right. And so, then you know, obviously, you know, Michael had. You know, he kind of brought. You know, he he created like the you know the shoe. You know, yeah. you got you know, the Air Jordans, yeah. and, you know, he kind of created this, you know, this business outside of the NBA that right. you know, all the players do now. Deals. Yeah, so endorsements, yeah. movies, you know, all yeah. this stuff. You yeah. know, he created this whole business side of it that the players now are, you know, basically following in that same path, like, you know, LeBron James is, you know. He's, you know, LeBron's trying to get his own shoes, and... I don't know if it's still in the works or not. They were talking about he, him being in a remake of Space Jam. Yeah. And she's like, can you follow more literally in the exactly. shoes of Michael yeah. Jordan? I exactly. Mean, yeah. I mean, that's, I mean, yeah, yeah. you're following directly in his right. video footprints there. Maybe we'll put him in the cameo. That would be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that would be interesting. Okay, so what So what to you does LeBron have to do to be the greatest of all time in your mind? What else does he have to do before he hangs up the shoes and says, I'm done? Well, I would like to see him win, you know, one or two more with, you know, like in Cleveland with him being the the main, the main focus point. And I would, I want that defining moment. I want to see that shot that, you know, that. So you want to see him hit that shot that wins the game or cements like the series that. Right. Okay. Yeah. I want to see that. You know, I can, you know, if I can get that image of him doing so that. So you want to see LeBron go clutch. Yeah. He might do it with how he's playing right now. Exactly. Like I said, you have, like I said, I have that image of Michael's final shot against Utah winning the finals. I remember that's, watching that title game. Yeah, yeah. so that's yeah. kind of the same. Yeah. I kind of want that same image, image of LeBron just kind of doing, you know, kind of the same thing as, you know, winning a finals, taking the you know, team on his back. You think of, you know, Michael Jordan, the, you know, the flu game where, he put the team on his back when he was feeling horrible, and he scored like forty some odd points. And you have those things like I just I want to see LeBron like take the team on his back and you know make that that final shot. 
And, you know, like, like I said, he might not even get the opportunity. Who knows? I mean, maybe, like, he's, you know, maybe they just sweep the Warriors and, you know, he doesn't need to take that, that shot or whatever. That would be ridiculous. But then again, if, you know, say he sweeps them this year, goes to the entire postseason, you know, undefeated, and then mm -hmm. next year they're going to do something similar, it's like, well, he didn't need to take the final right. shot. He yeah. just destroyed right. teams. He was that exactly. dominant that he yeah. just destroyed the sure. team, so he yeah. doesn't need to take the final right. shot then. Yep. But then again, you kind of want to see that competition, you know, you would hate to see, you know, the Sears just be the sweep, and you just hate to see see him just continually sweep people. Like, that's oh, just boring at that point. <laughs> I mean, you want to see some competition. Oh, man. But yeah, I mean, so like I said, he's, I mean, he is just, he's close to being there. But that's just what I want to see from him. Sure. And I'm sure you're going to see, you know, some people are going to be like, there's nothing he can do. He he has to win eight championships to overthrow Michael or Oh, yeah, whatnot. there there's some, there's some, like, arrogant people that says he has to win more rings like some people say he has to win like you said seven or eight more or eight titles well and you know part of that is you know lebron putting that on himself we're right. saying, like, saying he's chasing a ghost he's chasing michael jordan six yeah. well it's like okay well you kind of put that on yourself then that you have to win six in order right to be considered the greatest mm -hmm. so kind of self-inflicted there right you know, for them you know james's part yeah just, I just wonder. I guess. I guess. I wonder how much does, how much does LeBron, because he has to hear like T. He has to watch TV like we do in Sports Center and stuff, and know that people are comparing him to Michael Jordan. And I wonder, does it ever get to him? You know. I think early on it did. I think at this point of his career, with all he's been through, I don't think it affects him as much. He doesn't really care anymore. No, because I mean, when he first came in, you're naming yourself the king. You're wearing number twenty three. And you're kind of asking, you know, for that. So now, at this point, you know, he has a few championships under his belt, and he's feeling a lot more comfortable with things. I don't think it affects him nearly as bad now as it used to. I don't know. I just... I don't know. I guess, to me, I guess, um... <laughs> I guess I don't know what... I don't know what more he has to prove, I guess. I guess, to me, maybe the clutch shot thing, I guess I would like to see a... LeBron like game where he goes off for some stupid amount of points mm -hmm. in the finals or something. I would, yeah, I'd the, love to see that. Yeah, in the finals, yes. I mean, he's done that in the regular season, right? Like, but the NBA regular season to me is kind of just a joke in itself. So it's not as big yeah, a deal. It doesn't matter. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about the season. Once the playoffs start, that's all people really care about. Well, and just you know, you have so many teams making you know the playoffs that the regular season. You're basically. Pimp playing to see who's yeah. not going to make it. Like, right. are you one of those few teams that are bad enough to not make it? Yeah. So, yeah, that's the only thing with that. So I don't know about you guys, but I am actually going to go on the Big Baller website after this episode, and I'm going to order myself some LeVar Ball shoes, huh? Those new CO2s? I'm telling you, right now, they're going to be the top sellers in the United States, they're going to outsell Jordan, outsell Adidas, outsell Under Armour, outsell the LeBron shoes. Big baller classic. You guys watch the Undisputed episode, LeVar Ball? Pull them out in a glass case. I'd have thought Tony Stark gave them to him himself. I didn't see you drink before we got on the show, but clearly you did something. No, actually, I had I had some Hubert's lemonade, natural. I got it at Home Depot. Despite picking out some like, sod. Despite a like gallon of vodka. No, actually. You sure? Cause yep. that that little spiel you just. Oh, I was just joking it. about that. <laughs> I hope people it. don't take it serious. I mean, uh, I mean, if I wanted the Levar Ball shoes, I mean, they're good shoes. I'd probably go to Kmart. It's been about twenty bucks. Give those Shaquille O'Neal shoes. Actually. Yeah. Those Shaquille O'Neal shoes, probably some Krispy Kremes. Shoes, not donuts. Shoes. You know, Krispy Kreme had shoes. Uh, they will in about 2020, 2020. They're going to have me make them. We're going to we're gonna get signed by them. Okay. Interesting. Please. Please sign. Sorry. I'm uh, distracted. Yeah, I don't want to talk about the balls. So then there's just that family just... I well, me. see, I was I was going to do a Facebook Live feed, but I was like, no, I don't want, they don't, don't LeVar Ball doesn't deserve the Facebook Live feed see, on the Sports wanna, Jabber page. I don't want to give them any more attention, because that's what they want, so I don't want to talk about that 
giant piece of human garbage. Do you know what happens, LeVar Ball, when you act like you're bigger than people? Do you know what happens when you have shoes that have no big contract deal? And bring it with me, sorry. What? He was gonna make the list! The list? What? All you WWE fans will know what I'm talking about. Um, yep. Yeah, I don't want to watch fake sports, so. Oh, sorry. I was going to bring my notepad with a clip. Next. Sure. Next. No, no, okay. So take us out, John. <coughs> All right. <coughs> well, yeah, that's, uh, that's all we got for today. It's a weird way to end the show. I was going to put him on the list. Of... You know what? No, make sure you guys watch the playoffs tonight, okay? Watch Golden State, San Antonio. Let us know your thoughts. It's going to be boring because Kawhi Leonard's not playing, so they're just going to beat him. If you're bored, make sure you go to Oak Park and get some popcorn. Extra butter. It's great. But anyways, make sure you watch the game. Send us in your, on your on our, uh, comment box if you think LeBron James has done enough already to uh, surpass... Oh, stealing, <laughs> stealing your thunder. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry, there. I was actually just laughing at someone else you said. So, <laughs> what else did I say? What what happened? Did I have a blooper? Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyways, make sure you put in our comment box if you uh, think LeBron's done enough already, or if you just have the time to go on our Facebook page and like our page, or go on YouTube and subscribe on YouTube. Yes, subscribe. We got more subscribers. Big shout out to whoever you are. Thank you so, so much. Everybody have a great Saturday. Oh, sorry. That's your cue. No, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> You're doing fine. You know, I shouldn't have had all that popcorn. Popcorn's delicious. You're supposed to take us out. Ah, you distracted me. <laughs> Everyone have a good night. <laughs>